civil war in Sierra Leone broke out in 1991. Fighters from the rebel and revolutionary United Front began launching attacks. We suffer from the I don't have sleep today. I sleep in the table. Yes! I lose our shelter. We are shelterless. My father used to say to me, if you're alive, there's a possibility that something good will happen in your life. Each day that I survived, I realized that, hey, I didn't get killed today. Tomorrow will be better. And that was the hope that I had. Because I survived this, I realized that I had the opportunity to live a second life and live it well and live it with purpose. I've done this. I've been blood since I was 11 years old. So this is not new to me. And I ain't got nothing to show for it but tattoos with dead homies, nightmares, and obituaries. And don't cut corners, man. Take the long road. It's going to pay off in the long run. Jawi said that. What's going on, man? Get to meet you finally, man. Meet you, respect, man. man. Respect Much you. respect, man. And the kind of videos I saw in New York was a violent place, you know? Where people drove fast cars and shot at each other. I first heard about Sierra Leone when I was in Delaware. Um, one of my teammates was from there. And in Sierra Leone, they use a lot of kids because kids would be soldiers and they would go out and do crazy things. One of the biggest similarities is just the manipulation. You begin to see around you that the only way to survive and to stay alive is to be part of this. We live in hopeless. Yeah. And you know, you know, you know like I know, when you in an environment like that, they out there, they looking for anything to pull on. Anything just to get them through the night, get them through the next couple of hours. And I'm that out here. This is pretty much, you know what I'm saying, the neighborhood right here. So, I mean, you good out here. What's up, Funky? Yo, this is my homie. This is the homie Ishmael right here. That's suicide right there. The streets is fucked up out here, ish. You know what I'm saying? It's really fucked up out here. You see, we, we right across the street from the school, bro. Coming from a different part of the world, but you know, you guys feel like you guys are my brothers in a lot of, because we understand certain things that it's hard to explain to other people, you know? Right. must be active through action. We can change our society. We have a lot of self-proclaimed liberals and peace-loving people, but can they even do the work? There's a whole lot of the changes that we've, we've come about would have not taken place if it didn't take one person to get tired of. The engine of history has been always anger and rage. I feel like we're in an evolutionary trap right now as humanity. People are changing. The consciousness is growing. It's possible. It's possible right now. You know, with the two of you working together, I think uh, you can definitely bring a whole lot of a difference. This is very hypocritical that you can feel compassion and empathy for somebody like me and willing to forgive what I did or to even provide rehabilitation and sponsor certain things for me, but you can't do it for people who just live next door to you. What is the difference? What are you saying here? One of the differences that I see is that we just here in the States, we don't necessarily get that title of having a war, but we've been living like this for years. I had a sort of a dream, but we would find out a way for the two of you to work for peace in New York and also beyond New York. Is that something that, uh, that will remain a dream or do you see a possibility? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm game for that. I mean, I'm... What about you? I'm not just here for myself, though. You know, I'm here for a lot of people. So you know, I'm, I'm trying to go back with everything I can. It's kind of struck me that it was bloods in Africa. I, I never knew that. I never heard of that before. I'm from the West Side. I'm the West Coast Blood Five Two. This is fucked up where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? This blood gang. This shit is fucked up where I'm from. You have to pay a price for staying alive while your other fellows are gone, you know?
Most of the people that I was very close to who did the very same things that I knew how to do did not survive. It blows me away to witness people that have so little. Nork being as foul as it is and as much as garbage I done been through growing up, I didn't have to live in that shit though. You know, you walking with these people, you got experience with they living, so you can't run it higher from it anymore.